After living in Babylon for 70 years, God's people were home. A group had returned to Jerusalem to rebuild God's temple. They had started the work, but their neighbors didn't want them to rebuild the temple, so they stopped building. The people made excuses. Maybe it isn't the right time to rebuild the temple, they said. They thought that because the task was difficult, maybe God didn't want them to do it. God sent the prophets Haggai and Zechariah to encourage the people. So the leaders, Zerubbabel and Joshua, started working on the temple again. At this time, Darius, the king of Persia, ruled over the land of Judah. The king was in charge of so much land, he put governors in charge of some of the land. A governor named Tatanai noticed God's people what? had started to rebuild the temple again. Oh, oh. Tatanai talked to Zerubbabel and the others working on the temple. Do you have permission to rebuild this temple? Tatanai asked. The workers said, we do. Tatanai sent a worker to King Darius. This is what Tatanai's letter to King Darius said. To Darius the king, this letter is to tell you that the people of Judah are building the temple of the great God. They said King Cyrus gave them permission to rebuild the temple. Please search the royal records to see if this is true. King Darius' officials searched the royal record for Cyrus' order. They found it, a scroll with a record from King Cyrus. This is what was written on the scroll. Let God's temple be rebuilt. It will be a place to offer sacrifices. Let its foundation be rebuilt. King Cyrus had also ordered for the cost of building the temple to be paid for out of the royal treasury. So King Darius sent a letter back to Tatanai. He gave this order. Stay away from the workers in Jerusalem. Don't bother them or try to stop them. Give them whatever they need. Tatanai and the other officials obeyed King Darius' order. The Jewish leader kept building, and they finally finished the temple of God. The people celebrated and made offerings to God. They chose priests and assistants to serve in the temple. Then God's people celebrated the Passover. God's people were so happy. Now, the temple of God was finally complete. God's people rebuilt the temple so they would have a place to worship God. Years later, God sent his son, Jesus, to be with his people. Now God dwells not in the temple, but directly with his people. Jesus provided something better than the temple. He gives us himself.